So once you take the screws out, then the hole that we're going to need to make in the in the plastic sort of housing, front or back, is this size, this square here. And then the screws go through the case at the front and then screw into the thread that's there behind. So uh, fingers crossed for that. So let's get these screws off and let's get the lid off. So that's it. They're just like self tapper type screws. Four screws at the bottom. Turn it over and let's take the top lid off. And you can see it on the top of the lid there, you've got the ethernet connector that I want to plug into. And then it's these at the front and the back here. It's up to us how we want it to connect. What I might do is just cut a little, because I I don't mind it having a tail sticking out the back. It's just click it in like so. Now there is a configuration to this as well. You're not really, the advice is don't, um, don't use Wi-Fi and Ethernet at the same time. That's the advice given from Peter, which makes complete sense. So I'll, uh, I'll look at, I'll do a video. I'll learn how to, uh, to change the setting from Wi-Fi to Ethernet and I'll, I'll do a video as well on that and link it in, in the description. So the front and the back of this unit, we go here, does lift off. Now obviously you've got things connected, you've got to be careful what you're lifting off. But the idea is, I mean, maybe you could get a shorter one that it will connect in there and then come round and then, you know, poke out. So let's just connect this in and see if we've got enough room. Otherwise I would say get a, a shorter, more flexible cable than this one. And just while you're looking, look, you've got the CM108 sound card there. That's your Bofen AAAS. Then you've got your Raspberry Pi. I'm pretty sure it's a 3B. That's the pa that's what's powering everything. LED at the front, switches at the back, ETC. So it's a very, very simple unit. The SD card, obviously, that's got all the magic on it with the all the settings that you need. You can, you know, I've made two of these and they're nowhere near as neat as this, but you can make them at home. But these days, I would say it's actually better value to buy them than it is to, to make them because all the components have become so expensive. There's your 70 centimetre an antenna there. So let's just put, plug this connector in. So there's our connector in there. But now it's just about choosing really where you want it to poke out. There's plenty of room in the actual box to decide where you want it to poke out. It's just a choice really. And let the back unit and the front unit come off. So it's quite easy to, to take that away and make the holes once you've marked, once you've marked it up. So what we'll do, we'll undo these two bolts here, to hold the on off switch and the DC, and then we'll take this away and we'll try and make a hole about here. And then this will go here somehow. So wish me luck, because I'm no good at doing things like this, but we'll give it a go. We've got our pliers here. Just start them off. Should just be nice and easy. Like so. That's your two bolts off. Actually, one looks a different size than the other. One is bigger than the other, I would say. All right, let's just loose that. So there's like a, a washer here. This washer here that went around the actual switch. And then we just, we just push it in and it's just, yeah, it's a tight fit, but it is, it is coming out. Okay, we've got that off. Perfect. We'll take the cable off as well and then we can go off and I'll probably drill, mark it, drill four holes, and then cut it with a hacksaw. Just note that there are there, there's a washer on the inside of here and here as well. And then this, this washer was on the outside. And then you had your two, the larger bolt on the right, smaller bolt on, on the left. So let's go off and... Uh, we decide where we want it to go, which is going to be here. And we'll, we'll actually draw that size 
on here before drill before on here before drilling and cutting. It's a rough mark on the inside. There you go. I'm gonna go around here. So we mark the holes and we're just gonna drill a couple of holes. A couple of holes. I'm sure if you break it. Peter at, uh, will send you another side panel if you, uh, if you pay for it. So I've just screwed the screws back in, show you how that's going to go. A bit different than my, <laughs> than my markings, but don't worry. So now we need to just sort of mark around the, the square here that we need to cut all around so we can have the square here. Okay, we've marked it. This one here, this square, we're going to drill each corner and then cut it out using just the blade of a, of a hacksaw. Okay, several holes later. Should get our hacksaw in there now and give that a go. We have a hole, not the greatest hole, but it's a hole. And this, now we're going to screw this together. Right, it's on there, and to test it, we can use the same plug. Seems to work, so that, now it's just a matter of putting the switches back on, and, re and then plugging it into there. And I, I could neaten that up, put some sealant around there or something to make it look a bit nicer. Okay, well we've got it on, got the connector there, the cable's in. I would definitely say get a, I mean it's a good quality cable and that's, but it's very thick so putting the lid on I've got to sort of force it into place but otherwise uh, we'll, we'll fire it up as well and we'll see if it's showing up on our, on our wired Ethernet connectors. We'll get the screws back on. Right so here we are around the front, I've got my uh, Yesu there, we're going to hear my All Star node fire up, we'll look around the back as well. There's the um, Ethernet connected and the on-off switch is there. So let's have a listen. Right, let's just start. One, nine, two, dot, one, six, so what it would do... Dot, zero, dot, one, zero, six, so it's given an IP address of 192.168.1.06. So that should be a wired connection. Oh, it's actually gave out two IP addresses, 108 and 106. So as it says, you shouldn't really use both. But let's just show you the two connections on my PC. So you'll see there where it says micro hub, you've got one here and one there with two separate numbers. No, they're the same numbers. It says um, one is wireless, one is wired. So it is recommended that you only use one of them, not both of them. Actually, there's the wired there, look, see? 106 and 108 so it's already getting confused so we'll we will make a video configuring that and then we'll put that in the description bye for now 73 thanks for watching